Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Vira Skill 247. My name is Henry Waters, and in today's channel, I'm going to teach you how to upload files to your cPanel account using Filezilla. I'll begin by telling you what Filezilla is. Filezilla is a powerful and free software for transferring files over the internet. It is a very popular FTP client, and it is used by webmasters all over the world. Okay. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you my folder that I'll be transferring to the cPanel. It is in my C drive, WAMP, I make use of WAMP server, www, and all files. This is the folder. When I open it, what I have inside is uh, an image. Okay. I'm going to show you my cPanel account. This is the public underscore HTML directly where I'll be sending the file if successful i should see the all files folder here okay now i will begin by go to file hit that click on site manager then you give our sites a name click on new site our site name will be viral skill Two, four, seven. Name yours any name you want. Okay. When we head over here to general settings, I'm going to take my time and explain what all this means. Under protocol, what we have here is FTP and SFTP. I'm going to deal be dealing on these two. Okay. FTP is a protocol that networked computers used to talk to one another and FTP is the language that computers on TCP or um, IP networks such as the internet used to transfer files to and fro that is to one another whereas SFTP is designed as an extension of the SSH2 protocol to provide secure file transfer capability both command and data connections are encrypted between the client and the FTP server to allow passwords and other sensitive information to be transferred securely over the internet. I'm going to be choosing a file transfer protocol for this tutorial. Then coming to the host, since we have chosen this, we are going to uh, start by adding FTP dot whatever our site domain name is that is dot um, your site.com or your site.org or whatever the domain extension name is okay you add that if you are choosing sftp then you're going to have sftp dot your site domain name is an extension.com or dot org or dot whatever okay so i'm adding my own domain name here and when it comes to the port if you want to connect to any server you need to tell your firewall that filezilla should be allowed to open connections to servers most normal ftp server use port 21 which is the default value but it is not mandatory sometimes you can leave it blank okay but i'll add that then going to the inscription there's a lot of options for this um, it's advisable not to use plain FTP it's insecure hackers can get uh, to your information but sometimes uh, if these ones give problem some people use this but always know that it's it is insecure okay so I'll be making use of FTP over TLS if available then on logon type, I'm going to take my time and explain this very well now. Okay, when you choose anonymous, you can't enter a username or password. In this case, the username is always anonymous. Okay, when you choose normal, you have to enter a username and if required a password, that's if your password is not um, saved. Okay, then when you choose ask for password, Faisla asks you the password during logon and it remembers the password during session hope you understand that 
then when you choose uh, interactive Fazila will ask you for the password and ask again for every new connection you make to the server an interactive logon tab is intended for servers that are presenting, presenting multiple authentication prompts or that require unique password okay but i'll just choose normal that one is okay then okay the last one is okay that is it okay we have an account yes account uh, selecting this enables the account field in the bookmark settings this logon type is for ftp only sfftp does not have support for it so if when you are choosing ftp only that's when you can make use of accounts sftp is not required in this okay now you enter your username your user your user should be your username your cpanel username okay that's what you enter there whatever yours is and you enter your cpanel password as well okay you do that all right i think everything looks fine now i'm going to hit on Next, okay, see what we have unknown certificates. Sometimes this happens depending on your host. Uh, when the host name does not match with the certificate, this uh, normally prompts out. Okay, I'll hit on OK just to continue. So we are waiting for it to connect successfully. Um, if you have learned something new today, please do so by subscribing. So that this will encourage me to make some other awesome videos. Hit the red subscription button and turn on the notification bell. And if you like this video, please hit the like icon. If you have also any question, you can do that. In the comment section i will attend to each and every one of your questions all right as we can see we have connected successfully okay okay what we have here is um this is our local site okay that's meaning your computer and this is my c drive which is this okay my one by my www dot directory okay if um nothing is difficult so you just have to look for where the folder you are sending i'm sending my, my file from my wamp okay my wamp server ww directory and this is the all files that i'll be sending okay this here is the remote site that is uh, your c panel um, remote site and these are the files and the file name okay once this is what you're sending to this what you do here is you look for your public underscore html directory and double click on it because that is where we are transferring the files which is this okay double click on this retrieving directory listing we wait for it to retrieve that Okay. all right as we can see it has opened successfully the listings have been opened successfully we can now see our files exact files that is in our c panel this is our attachment blah 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 and all that okay which is here that means we connected successfully so while uploading it's very very simple all you need to do is look for the folder this is the folder that i'm going to upload to the uh, to c panel when you click on it you right click and you click on upload you can as well drag you can as well click on it and drag whichever way is convenient for you okay i'll click and right click on it sorry click on it then click on upload 
and wait for it to upload. Um, this might take some time, but it will upload successfully. Okay, it wants to verify the certificate again because it is unknown. Alright, see, hit OK. This is taking time. Okay. Starting upload of C WAMP WWL files one point JPG. Okay, um, under here, this is queued up files. Okay, this is failed transfers. Is there any failed transfer? Nope. Successful transfers. Yeah, yeah, successfully transferred. So we have successfully transferred the file to our C panel. Okay, um, I think this is all we need to do here. As you can see, our all files in, is in our public underscore HTML folder in our cPanel. We can verify that here when we refresh this. Yes, as you can see, all file underscore files. I'm going to click on it to be able to know if actually we have our image inside. Yes, we have our image, our JPG extension image. Okay. All right. This is just it. Okay. Um, if you got any value, just like I said, subscribe, like the video. If you have any question or if you run into any trouble, leave that in the comment section down below. I will attend to it. Okay. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.